Do I think that he was a young, egocentric, power-hungry guru who needed to be served a slice of humble pie the size of a fucking Empire State Building? Yes! But you know, he's a nice guy. Like, do I think he's a bad guy? No, he's, he's a very chill guy. He's a very nice guy. But... Drama, 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 drama. We have some serious fucking drama going on over here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so hyped. I'm so fucking hyped for this drama. We have some fucking drama going on. Whew. I don't think I should have had an energy drink. So Shane Dawson is in trouble again. Yes, you've heard the news. I don't know how, I just don't get how Shane Dawson, he's such a nice guy. Why would he, he be in drama again? It's not like he's best friend with a huge troublemaker like Jeffree Star. No, he's definitely not that type of guy. He's such an innocent guy, but he's also poor at the same time. I am poor. <laughs> Jeffree's coming over, I have to hide everything from Target. Oh God. Okay, I just have to hide this house. Today, let's just talk about this heartbreaking story of this innocent man, which is obviously Shane Dawson. Let's just see what happened. Before I show you everything, don't worry. I'm not gonna show you all that huge fucking screenshot that Shane Dawson had posted from his notes. I don't know why YouTubers keep doing that. They like to write a note and then they screenshot the whole thing and then they post that on Twitter. That's what he did and I bet you've seen that everywhere, so I'm not gonna show you the entire thing. Don't worry about that. So the most important one is that when you go to Shane Dawson's Twitter, this is his latest post where he says, I deleted everything, I'm done. For those who wanted me to address it, I did. I'm sure you can find it reposted somewhere, but I don't want this energy in my life or my timeline. I'm too, I'm too sensitive for this shit and I'm done. Yes, he's so sensitive that he still deals with Jeffree Star's bullshit. So I don't know how that makes him sensitive. Doesn't that mean that when, you sen when you're sensitive, you hang out with people that are nice and whatever and not with people like Jeffree Star? Also, what I don't get is why did you delete the pictures? I mean, you already posted them. What the fuck is the point of you deleting them? Literally, he says it himself. You can find it reposted somewhere. No shit, Sherlock. Then what's the point of deleting it? It's only gonna make it worse to be honest. Why the fuck would you delete it? I just love this last part. I'm too sensitive for this shit and I'm done. Does that remind you of someone else? I'm done? I'm done doing that. Did Jeffree Star write this? Shane, yo, Shane, was Jeffree Star tweeting this while you were in the bathroom or some shit? Come on, just let's be honest, real. Did Jeffree write this? Real question though, what did Shane think? that was gonna happen when he was hanging out with the most problematic beauty YouTuber. Like, we all know who Jeffree Star is. So then I wanted to look at the replies because the top reply was the screenshots of what Shane said, but uh, they're gone. What the fuck happened? I don't get what's going on, but all of the replies, the top comments, they're gone. Were they deleted? Did Shane change the settings where top comments would no longer be there and it would only be the newest comments? Something happened because the top comments are gone. The screenshots of Shane's notes are gone. Someone had posted them on the comment section and uh, they're gone. One good thing came out of this. I was just looking through the replies and this meme popped up. 2019 Shane. I'm gonna bring down and cancel James Charles no matter what. 2020 Shane. I can't be held accountable. I have anxiety and depression and I quit this toxic. <laughs> Why is that so spot on? Shane, what the fuck? Why is this so spot on? Drop that act of sensitivity. You can't pull that victim card all the time. You're so disgusting. I can't believe I looked up on you for so many years. Honestly, thinking of it, Shane is always playing the victim card. He's always pretending that he's poor while he lives in a huge fucking mansion. And he's always saying that he's so innocent, his this and that. But then all of his actions are like the complete opposite. 
Now going back to his notes, I just want to point out a couple of things. Just a couple of things. First of all, he said, did I warn James about the video? No. Why? For reasons that I will never discuss. You're already talking about the drama. What more could you possibly say that you can't say online? If you already hate, like we already know that you hate James Charles. There's no point on hiding it anymore. Why would you even say this? You could have totally not talked about this that I warned James about the video. Why would you even put that on there if you were never going to answer it anyways? You literally said, no, I'm not going to talk about it because for private reasons that I don't want to discuss it with you guys. But here comes my favorite part. Do I think James Charles is a devil? No. No. Do I think James is a devil? No, he's... He's not the devil, like he's a bad guy, but he's not the devil. Like I fucking hate him and he didn't want to fuck himself. But he's a nice guy though, like he's a nice guy. He's totally a nice guy. Why is that such a YouTuber reply when they're trying to defend what they say? Either say that he's a bad guy or he's not a bad guy. Don't fucking sugarcoat that shit. Do I think that he was a young, egocentric, power hungry guru who needed to be served? A slice of humble pie the size of a fucking Empire State Building? Yes! <sighs> but you know, he's a nice guy. Like, do I think he's a bad guy? No, he's he's a very chill guy. He's a very nice guy. But do I think he was egoistic as fuck and he deserved to fucking die, die and, and not ever see tomorrow, tomorrow again? again? Yes! But on the other side, he was a nice guy. Like, I can't say any bad things about James Charles. Totally nice guy. Dude, does he understand that this totally contradicts what he said? Do I think he's the devil? No. But do I think he was a fucking egocentric, power-hungry guru who needs to be served a slice of the humble pie of the size of the fucking Empire State Building? Yes. Shane. Is Jane, is, was Jeffrey with you when you wrote this shit? Like, why am, I, why am I even saying that? Shane is pretending to be such a nice guy behind the camera, but this is the real Shane. We're literally seeing the real Shane right now. We're always blaming Jeffree Star, but what if... Shane Dawson is the bad one. Dum, dum, dum. Also, I love when he said, the conspiracy palette was one of the best experiences of my life. The series with Jeffrey changed my life and changed me as a person. But then, I remembered when everyone was so pissed at Shane Dawson for using the drama as a clickbait on his trailer. Do you guys remember the beautiful world of Jeffree Star when he clickbaited the living shit out of everyone with this trailer or teaser where he was showing the drama of James, of James Charles and Tati on the trailer? Like the, he was showing the drama here and I don't know what the fuck he was saying there because he never showed us. And oh my god, oh look, that's so insane. Look at that crazy reaction of Tati and whatever. Oh no, he's crying right now. Oh look, I'm so sad and scared that James is losing subscribers. But at the same time, do I think he was a young, egocentric, power-hungry guru who needed to be served a slice of a humble pie with the size of the fucking Empire State Building? Yes! But at the same time, I do feel bad that he lost subscribers. Is no one else gonna link these two things together? The fact that he's saying that, but on the trailer we're seeing that he's crying, he's feeling sad about James Charles? Shane, what the fuck? And then you tweet out saying, but I don't want this energy in my life or in my timeline. I'm too sensitive for that shit. Dude, you literally posted a trailer with all that drama going on. And then at the end, you took out the drama because you wanted sales for your palette. So I am confusion. Hold up, I'm running out of energy. Sadly, that shit is not sponsored. Oh my god, Th I just saw this shit. This tweet right here sums up Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson and his Twitter apology still pretending to be poor and sensitive even though he almost drove a 19 year old to I can't say that otherwise I get demonetized <laughs> cries in Gucci <laughs> that shit is so true 
Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna go cry in my poor bathroom because sadly I don't have any Gucci flip-flops like Shane Dawson. I think I bought these for like five bucks. They were on sale. Literally, no, seven bucks. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. I was pretending to be poor there. They're not, they weren't five bucks. They were seven bucks from um, Ocean State. So yeah, that's how rich I am. Anyways, this was Drama Week. For this week, I hope you enjoyed this video, I think. Or maybe you're pissed. You're probably pissed. Hit like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. I upload frequently because I have no life.